Hello, my name is Leah Hailu, and I'm an intern with the Equity, Inclusion, and Diversity Committee at Mayo Clinic's Department of Laboratory Medicine and Pathology. So thank you for joining us today. For today's video, I'm here with Dario, and he'll be answering a few questions about his role and experience at Mayo. So Dario, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, of course. Thank you, Leah. Thanks for having me. Uh, my name is Dario Andriashevic, and uh, I'm the Assistant Supervisor in M MCS Operations in Pathology Session. Okay, thank you. And what are some of your favorite things that you like to do in your role? Well, there's so many different things that I like to do in my role, but really um, one of my favorite role, uh, things to do is really just managing the people and the workload, really. I've, I've always enjoyed working with people and now that you're working directly with them and managing a group that really takes pride in their work, working for Mayo Clinic, it, it makes a huge difference. It's, it's very satisfying to come into every day and to work and work with those types of people. Um, you know, our group works, they know that at the end of everything that they do is a patient and uh, they take huge pride in that, making sure that everything goes the right way for the patient and for the patient only because that, you know, I know it's always one of those things that we always say here at Mayo Clinic is uh, the needs of the patient come first. And that truly is one of those things that we, that we strive to, to get to, to make sure that the patient feels, uh, feels like they, they can trust us over here, that they know that they're getting the best treatment that they can. Um, you know, over the last year for us, it's been, it's been, not just last year, but last couple of years, I should say, with COVID and everything going on, it's been some some rough patches for us that we had to figure out. Uh, you know, the the work has been always uh, very heavy, and our our team has has taken like, huge huge strides, and even I should say maybe even sacrifices in in really trying to work so hard and trying to put all of those needs out there and make sure that the patients are being seen. So um, trying to keep a positive attitude and all of that has been, um, uh, you know, in, in all of these difficult times, it's, it's been a challenge, but uh, it's uh, people have stepped up and it, it's been great over the last year that I've been in this position that I've, I've seen huge, huge steps forward. And, uh, you know, I just love working with this group. Yeah, thank you. That's so wonderful to hear. And I was wondering, could you tell me a little bit more about why you chose to work at Mayo? Well, you know, this is, a, I have been here in Rochester about 25 years now, I think. It was in March sometime that I've been here in, in Rochester. And when you hear about the Mayo Clinic, you know, the biggest thing that always jumps at you, this is you know, the best, the best hospital or one of the best hospitals in the world. So just having that here is, is a huge, I'm sure, draw for everybody that comes here. So uh, working in Mayo Clinic, it's, it's one of those things that really after you see what goes on here, you really take pride being a part of that, of that team, of that Mayo Clinic team. Um, you know, it's, um, I used to work directly with patients. Right now, I don't work directly with patients, but we still do see specimens and do handle specimens for the patients. But mm -hmm. uh, one of the biggest things that I've always seen is when talking to patients directly is uh, how, you know, from their words, how great they think this place is and what they see in comparison to maybe some other places that are a little bit smaller and just, um, what the whole Mayo team does overall in trying to take care of that patient, trying to make them feel as comfortable as they can be in a foreign environment, you know, especially for somebody, for example, that might be coming from out of state, out of the country, and what the Mayo team does in general, trying to keep them, keep them um, comfortable in, in where they're at. Yeah, thank you. And that ties in well with my next question. 
And I was wondering, how does working at Mayo compare to other roles that you've had? Uh, that's a, um, you know, I always like to say that every place that I have been at has some great things about them, you know, so it's, but the, the one thing that always jumps out about Mayo Clinic is uh, just the professionalism of everybody involved here. And, uh, you know, this is really, I, I can't say much, I guess, because I haven't been in a, in a different place that, that took care of patients. But when you work someplace where really the patient is at the center, it, it makes a huge difference. It makes you as a person think differently of what you do and what your job is. And it, that, you know, just looking at it as a whole, I believe that it doesn't matter which part of the operation you are as a, as a male clinic, whether you're a, you're a physician or if you are just, uh, for example, working in, in pathology session like I do, or if you, if you work in environmental services, you still make a huge difference for that one patient. And I think that's, that's the biggest thing that I always draw out of it because it's, you have somebody else that you're trying to either help get diagnosis to make sure that they figure out a way how to treat it or maybe even to make them, make them better. So, and this is a, another person on the other end. So that, that's, I think, where, where the biggest difference is, is just uh, how much male takes pride in, in taking care of their patients. Thank you. And can you also share a story about how Mayo Clinic has provided you a sense of belonging? Well, I think, uh, you know, I have a couple of stories, if you don't mind, I'll probably go in a little bit more of what Mayo does. And uh, one of the biggest thing, things I think that uh, Mayo has been doing, and this has been done over the years, is that they have this career investment program for anybody that really comes into the male family to be able to better themselves by, by studying or going to school and supporting them in that, um, to be able to possibly find, find some other job and, and uh, here within Mayo Clinic and be able to network and, and find these different things. And I think Mayo does that for, for all their employees, which I think is great. So if somebody wanted to do something like that, they would be able to come in here, start working, and Mayo will help them pay for their schooling to try to better themselves, to try to find some passion that they have uh, in a different department. So, you know, when we, when we hire people into our department, we also always tell them that we try to help them out as much as we can to get them out, uh, to be able to maybe find their dream job. It might not be within our unit, but hey, at least you can come over here. You can work with us for a little bit and we will try to help you find your dream job here at Mayo Clinic. And that's, you know, that's kind of what makes you feel like, like Mayo really wants their employees to be part of the team, to help them out as much as they can. And they want them to be part of that Mayo family. But um, a different story that I kind of wanted to share too is what, what makes me feel like I belong here at Mayo Clinic is uh, I used to work uh, and I used to draw blood downtown. That's when I was working directly with patients. and. Uh, you know, you would see hundreds of patients each day. So sometimes you don't remember everybody as they're coming in. But one time I had, I met a family that was, um, um, I knew kind of outside. So they were friends of my wife and we ended up um, meeting, I think at a, at a wedding somewhere. And I didn't even know and didn't even think about anything. And I ended up talking to, to the mother of the bride and I was going to meet her and my wife came over. Hey, this is Dario. And I came over. Oh, I'm Dario. And she's like, oh, I know who you are. And I was like, how? And then she told me that um, her husband that recently passed away, um, he used to come to Mayo Clinic, get his blood drawn. And, and she was telling me how he always wanted me to come and draw his blood mm -hmm. because <laughs> I wouldn't make it, you know, make his vein hurt as much, you know, so that that really made me feel like okay this is this is like the greatest thing to hear about somebody that you know even in their 
in their misery that they have with whatever they have, you know, in their condition, even some of those small things like uh, venipuncture, drawing their blood can make a huge difference if, if you, you know, do it with, with compassion. So, you know, that's, that's another one of those stories that makes me like, uh, I have to stick around here at Mayo because this is a great place to be. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. It's a beautiful story. And for my next question, um, I was wondering if you could say a little bit where you see yourself and your future at Mayo Clinic. Well, um, I really have a passion in, in people management. So I'm currently at this assistant supervisor role and I would still like to keep, you know, improving in that and learning more. And, you know, I, like I said before, you know, Mayo Clinic is like a family. So this is one of those places that I don't really plan on leaving. <laughs> I have about right now, I think I'm 19 years in. So I haven't really even thought about anything else except working here at the Mayo Clinic. And, you know, with the support that we have around here with all of the people, it's a great place to be. Um, and um, I just hope that I can kind of stick around here in this, um, in this type of environment, in this managerial role, which uh, I believe that it suits me well. And, um, you know, that's kind of my passion. So, so I, I hope I can stick around here for a little bit longer. <laughs> I, I still have a few more years before retirement, I, I'd say. Mm -hmm. And do you have any parting words for our audience about Mayo or about your experience? Well, you know, I believe that with Mayo Clinic is, um, it's just a great place to work. I think they take care of their employees. They, like I said before, always put the patient first. And uh, I think over just over these last few years is a great example of uh, how great Mayo has been um, over these last couple of years with all of the COVID that's, that's been happening all around the world and how people came together even over here with us at uh, MCS operation with all of the COVID testing that was coming in, people came together, worked hard and tried to put everything out there to make sure that people are getting tested, that we have the numbers that we, you know, statewide that we know where we are with our uh, COVID numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, the mail, what, what they've been doing with, uh, you know, vaccination too. And uh, so, you know, one of those things about Mayo Clinic is that from the outside, you know, this is a great place. You've heard so many things about it, but when you finally come in here and you see it, then you confirm it and you're like, yes, this is a great place to be. Thank you. Thank you for sharing with me and our audience today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate the time. Thank you.